All right, everybody, what's up? Russ Henneberry here, Director of Editorial at Digital Marketer, and I'm super excited here. We're going to be walking through how to use this simple blog post audit. We're going to be looking at a blog post from Whole Foods. The headline of this, of this article is Gifts for Mom on this blog, and we're going to be using the blog post audit document to give this post a grade and give the author some feedback that they could use to improve this post and take it from just okay to really fantastic. So we're going to put the URL in here of the post. We're going to put the writer or author in here so that we know who to give this to when we're finished. And we're going to put the date in here. And then we're going to go in and we are going to audit each of these different elements, the headline, the introduction, the, con the consumption. How easy is this post to consume? Is there a goal present? Is it a relevant goal? And so on. And then we are going to give each one of these elements a grade over here. It's going to be either a four, three, two, or one. And the way we're going to choose that is by looking at each element and, and the description of what it takes to get that grade. So if you want, if you wrote an exceptional headline, it would be a clear, tightly written promise uh, made using as many words as necessary, but none more. So nice, tightly written promise. Um, promises made in the headline is delivered in the body, delivered upon in the body of the post. And then the headline is compelling without being misleading or hypey. Let's take a look at this headline, Gifts for Mom. Okay, certainly not a compelling promise here. And uh, we definitely don't want to give this a four, right? It, it needs more. We don't really know what Gifts for Mom means. So we're going to move on and look at this and say, uh, headline needs to be tightened or requires a bit more description. Definitely... Um, we're at least at three points for this headline, but really, I would give this a two. Headline is either wordy or far too short. In this case, it's far too short to clearly communicate the promise. So I'm giving this headline a two. And now I'm going to move down in my audit to the action items down here for this post. And I'm going to say, rewrite the headline to give more details and further explain the benefit. Um, and then I even outlined what the benefit was um, in that post. So the benefit really in that, that article from Whole Foods is that they had pulled together a, a shopping guide for, for different mothers on Mother's Day. And that should be somehow incorporated into the headline. And so I make that suggestion down here in my action items. As you can also see, as you go through and score these, you can choose from 4, 3, 2, or 1, you will be receiving a final score on this post as it continues to tally the score as you go through and, and audit this post. Now, the, in the document itself, you have three different tabs down here. You've got the, the example that I'm on right now, this Whole Foods Market. So if you want to refer back to the example, you can. If you want the template, you'll click on the template here, which is a blank template where you can put your own URL, writer, and date in here. So that's it, guys. You're going to go through these posts. Um, I would suggest choosing one article and run it through this audit and see what kind of score you get and see how you could go about improving that post and taking it from, yeah, it's just okay, to absolutely fantastic.